program forms a part of our CSR activity. But when it comes to building the infrastructure in Vijayanagar, that does not get covered that in CSR. That is predominantly a spend that the company is making in order to support these athletes. So the amount that we are planning on spending there is in, in the crores, in you know multiple crores, which I, I don't have the exact number and I don't know if we want to share that. But once you come and visit our facility, you will see that no facility in the world, our facility will be on par or better than any facility, whether it's the US Olympic facility in Colorado, whether it's Aspire in Qatar, our facility, we will ensure that our facility is the world's best facility and that's what we promise our athletes and that's what we promise this country. Uh, right now you've been, like it seems that you're supporting all the established athletes. So what are your plans to get in, you know, young, young, youngsters into the or are you trying to widen no, Actually, I think we've got a, we've got a good mix of, uh, of established and youngsters. Uh, for that matter, no one in the country supports judo. So, uh, you know, that's an initiative. We have three girls that are going to the Commonwealth Games and Aftar. And apart from that, we have another four uh, judokas who we're supporting. So I'd, I'd beg to differ on the fact of uh, the established. Yes, in wrestling, our, our wrestlers are all established names, but that's the, the way our sport has progressed. We are looking at, at a lot of youngsters. Nikhat is just about coming out of her, her teens. So uh, she's someone that we have a lot of hopes for. Our swimmer is has just turned 12. So so and we're looking at a couple of more swimmers who are in the 12 to 14 age group because that's the that's the age that we've been advised we should start at to be able to achieve results in in the next eight years. So that's that's the type of programs that we have in place. We are looking at athletes at younger ages as well. So uh, the the number will keep increasing. The, uh, it's not fixed at 28. As, as in when we see talent coming through the ranks, we will be happy to extend our support to them. I think, I think the, the, the long-term plan uh, is that once our center, JSW Institute of Sport, gets ready by, next year in, by May next year, that's when we'll really be able to get the 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, 12-year-olds into our residential academy where they'll be, you know, we have all the ancillary facilities already there, whether it's schools, hospitals, you know, the entire township already exists. So we are actually waiting for that institute to come up. Then this number, which today is only 28, by next year we're hoping that we can cross 100. That's our, that's our aim. So, so we are, we're already in talks with a lot of experts, uh, some international, uh, some uh, in India, who, who we will be getting down to, to start our talent scouting program. That should start around January to give us a good six, five, six month lead time um, to, you know, to help these athletes relocate to, to Bellari. So that's the plan for that. We, we have to closely work with the associations. That's going to be very key. The junior national games are going to be very, you know, key. Junior state games are going to be very key to our overall plan. I think, and working closely with the federations, with the Sports Authority of India and the government is going to be the cornerstone of this program. We we realize that on our own, we cannot do anything. But it is only with the government and with the sports federations that this program and this whole endeavor of ours can be successful. Right now, do you have any ties with any specific state association? Uh, no, we've been, I've been in touch with all the national associations. Um, they've all been very supportive of our program. Our team goes to all the nationals, juniors and seniors, um, to, to evaluate athletes, to support athletes. So we're, they've been exceptional in, in the support that they have shown towards us and whatever, whatever requirements we've had, whatever assistance we've required from them, they've been very forthcoming. This, this entire initiative, uh, before it started, had the blessings of the Sports Authority of India and the Sports Minister of India at that point of time. And it's been reiterated by the new Sports Minister as well as by the new General Secretary of SAI. So all of them are on board for this entire program. See, the facility at Bellari, uh, how many sports will it cover? And uh, uh, does it badminton, table tennis, or tennis doesn't interest you? No, no, I think I think Mr. Gopichand is already doing enough for badminton. So <laughs> that's also true. No, so I told you five sports that's going to have uh, boxing, wrestling, judo, athletics, and swimming, as well as football. These are the six sports initially that we're going to be focusing on, and then later on, depending on whether we are successful, how well it runs, we can look at expanding.
clear percentage to the foundation? No. Nothing in terms of uh, the successes uh, in uh, prize, money. prize money, nothing. No. So there was a... Yeah, there yeah. was this Vital Trust which started in a big way, it collapsed. What is the guarantee you would be <laughs> I'll answer, I'll answer, I'll answer, I'll answer, no, no, I'll answer that. I think uh, when the Mittal's Champions Trust started, this is just my theory, I don't know how accurate or not it is. The, the focus of that program was the 2012 London Olympics, which was uh, Mr. Mittal's uh, home Olympic Games. And he wanted India to showcase its talents uh, at those games. We are, uh, we don't have any such... Uh, uh, you know, a stop. Our our aim is um, very different. It's actually to put. Uh, you know, we we we're investing in infrastructure. It's not uh, just supporting athletes, which you can just turn off when you feel like. It's actually a major investment is going in land infrastructure development, which uh, tomorrow will always be with us. So that is the big difference. Is that we're building infrastructure. We're not just supporting athletes. We. We believe that building infrastructure and supporting athletes have to go hand in hand. So I think the main question, the main answer there is that I think 2012 was the plan for Mittal Champions Trust. We don't have any such, uh, you know, cap or deadline. <coughs> Absolutely. I think this should have happened 30 years ago, and I think there should be 30 more of such programs being launched in the country. Um, we didn't have any of such, this support. It was whatever our parents could, to, could do and whatever we managed on our own to, to go out and play as, as much as we could. Um, if you look at any sport abroad, um, it's about how they've invested as the association or the clubs or, or individuals have gotten uh, uh, investment in. You look at Canada for tennis, you know, with the success at the Wimbledon, you look at Belgium for football, Germany for football, you know, you look at uh, the UK for cycling and the other sports that they uh, picked, China. I mean, these are all dedicated effort that has gone into uplifting their sports performances. So if we can have, hopefully, you know, from our launch, see more such programs being launched, I think Indian sport will be in a good place. No, I think I think or will we. Will you allow the federations to have their camps at your facility? Sure, sure. I mean, it, it's uh, completely open to that. We have to respect the national camps. Uh, we cannot uh, say that we will hold the camp. It is up for the federation and up for, up to the your, authorities. Your camp, your facility will be a top class. Yes. And the facilities they are giving is third class. <laughs> 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 it is going to be third class. Yeah. No, no. We 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 are we are uh, we are very happy and very open to hosting the camps. We are also very happy to come into Patiala or any place where they are hosting the camps and help them improve the facilities there. So we have offered this already to them and they are already evaluating this. So our plan is that we will upgrade the facilities we that they... We've the already offered. Patiala. Not Patiala per se. We had offered in Hisar. There is a very good center there. Uh, we are also... We, we are currently working with them on a, a facility in the northeast which we hope to close soon. That will help us uh, upgrade the existing facilities also. That's part of the plan. Uh, Pard, uh, what is your experience with the, the sports so far? You are, you are a new, you are a starter. Right. How can you help somebody who has been there for so donkey years to improve their facilities? I'm just trying to understand, how can you help? No, so me personally the only sports experience we have is becoming i league champions in our first year with bengaluru fc i don't if you had asked me last year what have you done in football i would have said nothing but now i can say we won the i league in our first year so the idea is to uh, put professionals uh, put sports scientists put people who played for india 
uh, in Davis Cup and who represented the country in several sports and ask them what it is that is required to help the facility. So on our JSW Sports Board, which we will be announcing shortly, there are a lot of eminent names who've been Olympic champions, who've been Wimbledon champions, who've been champions of all these major events. So I rely on their help and obviously on the expertise of professionals who've been in that place in order to help those facilities. Uh, the, the facility you're building in Bilari, uh, that will start next year? Yes. Uh, is, is it... Is it JSW Sports that is building it? Which JSW Steel is building it uh, because, like I said, it's uh, it's it's an infrastructure project. But the institute will be called JSW Institute of Sport. And you will be leasing it out when it's it's not being used by your your players. We are still op we're open. We haven't decided that, uh, but we were open to discussing that if anyone's interested. What is the budget and expenditure for that? The, the budgeted expenditure is quite large, but I don't want to share the number. <laughs> is it, a, is it a, such a secret that you wouldn't want to share? No, I, I don't. I, I would say that once you all come and visit it, then you can estimate how much we've spent on it. Why are people like Dindal, you know, IMG is coming up with a long term horizon with IMG. Why are they reluctant to spend money? You know, they're not convinced about the associations. Uh, very good public sports, product assets, you know, what is it like? We had a Britannia Mitraj Tennis Academy, Tennis is something else. Yeah. Gargill started at 4 days. And tennis only, the badminton only too prominent, uh, Prakash and uh, 